today let me start by giving a prompt to a new model the prompt which i am giving goes something like this that to create a dynamic tower defense game simulator and strategy optimizer let me click on generate code while this model generates a code let me tell you all about this model this is a world's longest context window model where you can have 1 million tokens as input and 80,000 tokens as output. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. The model in question is Minimax M1. This is the world's first open weight large scale hybrid attention reasoning model that represents a significant advancement in AI architecture. Built upon the Minimax Text01 foundation, this new model promises a lot. It features a hybrid mixture of expert architecture with 456 billion total parameters, though only 45.9 billion parameters are activated per token. The model natively supports an impressive 1 million token context length, which is 8 times larger than DeepSeek R1 and uses a lightning attention mechanism that dramatically improves computational efficiency. It consumes only 25% of the flops compared to DeepSeek R1 at 100k token generation lengths. The model operates through large-scale reinforcement learning training across diverse problem domains from mathematical reasoning to real-world software engineering environment. Another cool thing about this model is that it introduces something called as CISPO, which is a new algo that clips important sampling weights rather than token updates, which proves more effective than RL variants. The hybrid attention design naturally enhances RL efficiency while addressing unique scaling challenges. The model comes in two variants. One is with 40k and the other one is 80k. Both are the thinking budgets respectively that allows for extended reasoning capabilities. The one you were looking at on your screen where the model is still thinking is the one which comes with 80k and if you have been following my channel, you see that I am very, very keen on these long thinking test time scaled model. And by the way, we already have covered this Minimax previous versions on the channel as soon as they were released. They are huge models, so really it's not possible for me to install them locally, though I would love to do that. But I simply don't have resources. It would need a um, huge multi GPU cluster. But anyway, we have this hugging face space. And because it also gets throttled, I have another um, Minimax chat IO where you can go and run this model. So first I'm going to check it out here to see what sort of code this model generates. So you can see not only I am asking it to design me a dynamic tower defense game simulator, but also randomly generate a battlefield layout with enemy spawn points, paths and defensive positions. I'm also asking it to implement me a multiple tower types with different attack patterns, ranges and upgrade paths. I'm also asking it to visualize the battlefield using canvas with smooth animations showing enemy waves. And there are a few other tidbits which I'm asking it to do. Now this is where it should be showing me the thinking process but I couldn't see anything. Let me click on generated code it hasn't done anything but anyway i was hoping it would show me the thinking because it is always fascinating to see so i will wait for it to generate it if it doesn't work here for some reason because it's a huge model and it's a free space on hugging face then we will move on to this one let me show you its files and versions so there are 414 shards of it it's a huge model but interesting bit is that they have just spent over half a million dollars to create this model. Now, you can see that these test time scaled models are thriving and all of these reasoning models continue to rapidly improve and are becoming more effective and affordable. And they have also shared some of the evaluations. If you go down, let me maybe open it in the new tab and we will 
check this evaluation out and if you look at this benchmarking information we can clearly see, see that that um, on the standard benchmarks this model has outperformed other strong open weight models such as original deep sea car one and even quen 3 235 billion model on complex software engineering tool using and long context task while efficient scaling of test time compute mini max m1 is also serving as a strong foundation for next generation language model agents to reason and tackle real world challenges and that is the promise they are showing okay let's go back to our space okay so it has generated this code let me open it in the browser so this is a code and this is a game it has generated let me click on start wave and i believe we can then place this uh, tower here and maybe arrow tower here there you will see how good is that maybe i'll just move it here how good is that let's start the wave looks pretty good so my um, arrow and cannon towers are really working really really impressive all running in self-contained html look at my score and let me uh, there's also strategy helper this is not doing much here maybe let's try this let me place it here there you go this is the arrow tower i think this also gives me the same thing here interesting pretty interesting what do you think so i'm just placing all of these here on different uh, points i believe this should be orange but i think there are some mistakes maybe we can do some new iteration so i've just started a wave come on do something yep now this one is doing it is close i think interesting okay so look really really good stuff here okay now i have switched to their hosted minimax io chat let's ask it a conditional logic and math question so i am asking it that in a game show there are 100 doors with prizes behind three of them you pick door number one the host then opens 97 doors that don't have prizes leaving you yours and two other closed you can now switch to one of the two remaining doors to or stay what's your optimal strategy let's see i am more interested in in its thinking process so you can see that again it is doing all of that thinking primarily it is using the reinforcement learning behind the scene and it is taking information from its current state in this arbitrary environment it is generating a set of probabilities for selecting an action and then taking that action uh, the model's goal here is to achieve um, an objective and is defined by our reward function behind the scene the reinforcement <coughs> learning is happening when changing the model weight such as top probabilities generators are more likely to result in a higher reward so you can see that it is self-reflecting it is checking different options it is even going through um, backwards to check what exactly it has produced it's pretty interesting and remember the context window is huge and to be fair i am more interested in how exactly it is doing this long thinking and how exactly it is strategizing on the problem because the real world problems are not zero and one they are not on and off they are arbitrary um, they are very opaque vague and that is where these models are trying to just mimic the human thinking and that is where i'm interested i think we can learn a lot from these models okay so i will let it run and then i will show you when it is done but i can already tell you the thinking the reasoning <clears throat> is very impressive and it's been almost 15 minutes and model is still thinking going through a lot of probabilities and it is not really producing gibberish it is actually um, evaluating all the probabilities all the options now you can already see that this test time scaling where models are spending more time to think they are thinking longer so that the answer would be uh, fairly grounded and nuanced but you can already imagine that this would require more compute 
for inference and that is where um, I believe that more and more chips are needed and I mean the GPUs and that is where this AI war is heading towards um, you know all the sanctions on China and all that stuff I think that is barring them from obtaining more chips so uh, even if they want to they won't be able to serve these models for huge inference because I think hardly anyone can really locally install these models they have to be served by host, uh, hosting them in large data center so this uh, paradigm shift of reinforcement learning long thinking is that the large amount of compute is needed so that is where if the country is you know struck by export controls that really limits the availability of compute resources that slows down their research testing and i believe um, this is where the game is on and if you look at a lot of companies they are building data centers across the globe mainly due to this test time scaling because reinforcement learning this long model thinking is where the future is okay so you can see that it is still thinking i will just give it few more minutes it's been 35 minutes but i think it already has got the answer i'll show you so if you look read this it says that the problem is ill posed however given the initial analysis the only possible case is door one is a price so the answer is that it doesn't really matter so that is the core of the crux because uh, answer really doesn't matter here and it has understood quite well that i'm just asking for the optimal strategy here and it is still thinking about optimal strategy it has created a lot of equations it has used a lot of theorem as you can see that it is now trying out another theorem here so it's an open-ended question so i really don't fault the model but i think for real world challenges for really really grand challenges where deep long thinking is required things are improving a lot so that's it let me know what do you think about it before i let you go let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with application in data generation task automation and world simulation please like and share the video and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please do so as it helps a lot thank you for watching